Well, Christians in Sweden are once again rioting and attacking police because someone hurt their feelings. Oh, did I say Christians? Oops. It's actually a different group. Shocker. You know, I was trying to keep things positive since it's resurrection weekend, but some of you guys just won't let me stay positive. I'll tell you what, we'll read about the latest Ramadan Quran riots in Sweden, and then instead of me making fun of anyone, I'm actually going to try to help people who riot over criticism, because this is the weekend we celebrate Jesus' death and resurrection. Or, in a certain other religion, the weekend when Allah tricked everyone into believing that Jesus died and rose from the dead. Reuters reports, Violent riots erupted in the central Swedish city of Örebro on Friday as counter-protesters attacked police ahead of a planned right-wing extremist demonstration. Police said on its website that four police cars had been set on fire and at least four police officers and one private individual had been injured as protesters threw stones and large groups attacked police cordons and tore down riot fences. That's strange. Not one word about who these people were who were rioting. In fact, the only people labeled extremists here are not the rioters, but the right-wing demonstrators. Who are these rioters? I don't know. But the violent riots were a response to a planned right-wing extremist demonstration, so it looks like the riots could have come from anyone who doesn't like right-wing extremists. The demonstration, which had received police permission, was organized by Rasmus Paladin, leader of Danish far-right political party Hardline. Police disbanded the demonstration to calm the situation and later in the evening said most counter-demonstrators had left the area. A number of counter-protests against planned demonstrations by Paladin, some of which were canceled, in Swedish cities have turned violent this week. Really? During Ramadan? Swedish news agency TT said violence erupted in the Stockholm suburb of Rinkeby after Paladin earlier on Friday set fire there to a copy of the Quran. Oh, the far-right extremists were burning copies of the Quran, and people who are upset about the Quran being burned rioted and attacked police and burned vehicles. Police said some of the officers taken to hospital had, among other things, suspected arm fractures. My goodness, multiple police officers were attacked and I have to be Sherlock Holmes to figure out who attacked them because Reuters won't identify them? That's modern journalism for you. If we go outside the West, of course, we get some more details in the reporting. Here's the headline from Op India, for instance. Rioters chant Allahu Akbar torch vehicles, attack cops after anti-immigration activist burns copy of Quran in Sweden. What we know so far. Notice, that actually gives you all the important details in the headline. Now, I said that instead of making fun of anyone, I'm going to try to help instead. Here goes. Let me talk directly to the rioters and to the people who are cheering on the rioters. When someone from an anti-immigration party shows up to your area during Ramadan and burns a Quran, what do you think he's trying to do? What do you think he's trying to accomplish by coming to your area during Ramadan and burning a Quran? Think, think, you can get this. He's, what is he doing? He's... He's trying to get a violent riot out of you, right? Why is he trying to get a violent riot out of you? Because he knows that there are lots of people in Sweden who will look at that interaction and say, well, we don't approve of burning the Quran, but it is a legal demonstration. The rioters, however, are attacking police officers and burning vehicles. That's far worse. He's trying to show future voters that your group can't handle protected legal speech and therefore that you don't belong in Sweden. If he can convince enough people that Muslim immigrants don't belong in Sweden, 
What happens? Laws change. That's his goal. And what do you do when he uses you for his political goal? You do exactly what he wants you to do. You give him the reaction he wants. You give him the reaction that helps him. As a rule, if your enemy is trying to get a certain reaction out of you, you do not give him the reaction he wants. In general, if your enemy is trying to get a certain reaction out of you, you should do the exact opposite of what he wants you to do. Just imagine how the people of Sweden and the rest of the world would react if you did the exact opposite of what Paladin wanted you to do. Just imagine he shows up to your area and burns a Quran and you ignore him. The media comes to you and asks you how you feel about Paladin burning your book. And you reply, well, the Quran is very dear to us. So it hurts us deeply when someone burns it. And he knows that. He's trying to hurt our community. It seems like he's trying to get us to react violently so he can use our reaction for cheap political gain. But we're not going to respond with violence. We're not going to continue this cycle of hate. Instead, we're going to continue our Ramadan feast. And we're going to pray for Allah to guide him. Who would look like the undisputed bad guy? Paladin. Who would look like they're absolutely fine in Sweden? You. Who would stop burning the Quran because it doesn't get the reaction they want? Everyone. Get it? People are burning the Quran to get a certain reaction out of you. If you give them the reaction they want, you're encouraging them to burn more Qurans, which is the opposite of what you want. If you give them the opposite reaction, they don't get what they want, so they stop burning Qurans, which is what you want. Hope that helps. As I said, it's resurrection weekend, so I'm being nice. I want to see people getting along. But the next time you riot and attack police and burn vehicles, spoiler alert, I'm going to use it to expose your fake prophet. This is a power of religion. There's a reason to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.